Another record of COVID-19 cases in Wisconsin today. The state confirming more than 3,100 new cases. Hospitalizations are on the rise, and the seven-day average sits at 722 new cases per day. Since this uh, pandemic began, there have been nearly 142,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19. The deaths rose nine today to 1,424. The 3,100 new cases are a record in Wisconsin. It's a record health officials did not want to break. They say people have simply become too relaxed when it comes to the guidelines. Casey Cronus joining us live with the latest. Ted, as temperatures drop, health experts say people are partaking in more activities indoors, contributing to that uptick. Tonight, they are reminding us that each person we come into contact with outside of our household increases our risk. It's a tough time here in Wisconsin. As the majority of our state darkens, with activity very high over the last two weeks. We obviously hope this day wouldn't come. The daily number of newly reported cases Thursday surpasses 3,000 for the first time. Also very troubling, we have 873 people with COVID-19 diagnoses in our hospitals. Julie Willems Van Dyke with the Wisconsin DHS says that number has nearly tripled over the last month. If we keep adding 70 new patients to the hospitals per day, our hospitals will soon be out of beds. Milwaukee County still holds the record for the highest number of confirmed cases in the state, followed by Brown County. But when looking at confirmed cases per 100,000 people, Brown County comes in first. What we're seeing here in Brown County is a lot of COVID-19 fatigue. Health officials there really pleading with the community to think about how their actions are affecting others. And at the state level, asking all Wisconsinites to continue wearing a mask, physical distancing, and limiting interactions with others. And if we did that at a really good rate, we could stop the spread to a point this would not be the kind of menace it is in our community now. Starting October 19th, Miller Park will become the main hub for COVID-19 testing here in Milwaukee. Two more sites will be opening throughout the city as National Guard members move out of Custer Stadium and UMOS by the end of next week. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Casey Cronus, Fox 6 News. They've been two very popular and successful spots. Casey, thank you.